What's up, my beautiful collective, divine masculine, divine feminine? Welcome back to the karmic circus where we expose all of these karmic -y ass clowns. Divine collective. So you got a sex vampire in your life. And there, you are not talking to them right now because you know that they're a fucking energy vampire. This person has somebody, they have their friends trying to call you. Because you have blocked them. Okay? You see? You've blocked them. You're not taking their calls. You're not texting them. You're sitting there looking at that phone like, hmm, I bet I don't answer it. I'm not going to be your secret. This is somebody who wanted you to be their secret. You see that moon back there? Ooh, my secret. Yeah, that's what they wanted you. You're like, uh-uh, I ain't going to be your secret. So now they got their homeboy. See that little bird? He coming to try to tell you, trying to give you a message. You ain't listening to him either. You ain't finna be behind no curtains. You done open them motherfucking curtains. You're using your intuition with them curtains being purple too. Right. Mm-hmm. You're not wasting no more time, no more energy on this energy vampire. This is somebody when you would have sex with them, you was always tired. The next day when they get up off of you, you sleep. You done drew the covers all up. You don't even get up and take a shower. You just... Laid in the bed, asshole naked, waiting for them. Okay? This is how they wanted you. See this purple here? They're trying to manipulate you. Okay? But now you're you're awakening to it. This is sex magic. Okay? And this is an energy vampire. And see, this person now, they're trying to figure out how you found out that they what they were doing. Okay? Because you're on a spiritual journey. You wearing your protection, you taking spiritual baths, you throwing salt, you 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 burn the sage, you doing whatever you gotta do. And see this person, they came into your life. You apparently you got a special gift or a talent. I bet you if whatever your talent is, put it in the comment. If you got a gift or you do something different from everybody else, please put it in the comments. If you know that you're gifted, if you know that you're chosen, put it in the comments, okay? Because you got somebody out there that's after you through sex. And they'll take your energy and take it to somebody else. Then that person they're taking it to will try to be you. Okay? They want to be you. Because you have that good good. Okay? You got that good divine energy. So they want to drain you. Okay? They're trying to figure out how you do stuff. How you how you make them feel. Why you make them feel so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're trying to figure this shit out. They even taking notes if you riding their ass. Or whatever they doing to you, they they writing that shit down. And they trying to remember that shit to take it to somebody fucking else. Mm -hmm. So now you're not you're not you're not um, listening to them no more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've isolated yourself. You isolated yourself from. Them. Mm -hmm. Here's a control freak. This could be somebody's. Uh, this could be his baby mama. This could be his mama. This could be his older sister. This could be his auntie that's watching you, taking screenshots because you done blocked them. So they, they taking screenshots and they bringing them the pictures to you. And see, when they do this, this is they doing spring, screenshots. Spring, some, something could have happened in the spring. They take some of your pictures during the springtime. So in springtime, you must have been blossoming or some baby, to where you was taking them clothes off of some. Not naked, but you were showing skin, and this person, family, is going back telling them, they'll telling them what you're looking like. Mm-hmm. And he's a devil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure is. He got some feminine watching you. She controls him, so she may be just watching you for her damn self. Who is this feminine? Who is this feminine energy? She's a control freak. She's a narcissist. Uh, if she was doing some sort of spell work, this could be uh, somebody of the lesbian and gay community. Somebody don't want to be gay no more. They're straight. And you got this old hag that's still a, a lesbian that is trying to keep somebody in there. Okay? And it's, it, it, it's like the manipulation they was doing. Sex matching. You may have not been into the same sex, but somebody did this energy try to throw this energy at you and now you're not wasting time with this person now that's not for everybody but it's for somebody and others is of you it's a male energy after a female 
with all of this purple out here, some of you need to, to open your third eye and your crown chakra. Okay? Your crown chakra, you need to get an amethyst. And for your third eye, you need to get a sodalite or a blue agate. Okay? Because this person is, is, is you've isolated yourself from them. And even though you've isolated yourself from them, they got somebody else watching you, trying to figure out what you're doing. This person is looking at you there. They're actually like jotting down and texting or typing whatever it is what you're saying on a device. And this is a form of control. This person was, I told you, this is a narcissist. And since they can't control you no more, they can't, they can't contact you. They, get, they can't, you know, get all up in your energy. This person has a fucking devil. Okay, and they want to tempt you with sex. And see, they could have an STD or something. See how she burned and they want to give it to you. And they're targeting you. Why? Because you are of a divine energy. They want to put some nasty um, disease on you to make you seem like you're not divine. This is why some of you have isolated yourself from these people. Okay. Yep, see? This person had you... Sitting around waiting for them sexually with no clothes on all the time. Where you knew you, you know good goddamn well you need to dip your feet down in that water and baptize yourself, baby. Take a spiritual bath. Okay? Get this person's nasty, toxic ass energy away from you. Don't spend no more time. Get you a, a, a amethyst. Okay? Get you one of these. An amethyst. Okay? This is what you need so you can open it up your third eye in your crown. If you, you can use that for your third eye in your crown chakra. Others of you, you can get both crystals. You can get a, here's some more purple and blue. This is the, the for the amethyst. The amethyst is purple and blue is for your third eye and your throat chakra. It's something you need to speak the fuck out about what you see, what this person is doing. You need to tell them and expose that motherfucking devil. Don't mean to sound so harsh, but this person is the devil. He's a sexual energy vampire. He's stalking you and he got somebody else stalking you because you blocked him. He got a friend. This may be a female friend that's trying to give you a message. You ain't trying to hear none of them from nobody that has anything to do with him. And see, you see how he's holding this ball of fire. See that ball of fire he got in his hand. That's your sexual energy that he's he's draining. He's doing come to me spells, trying to get you to come to him sexually. This person, he probably puts it down on you and gives it to you real good, lick all on you and suck all on you and all of that stuff. But the same thing he's doing to you, he's doing to somebody else. Where do you think he learned? His practice makes perfect. He's doing a lot of motherfucking practice. Okay? He's not only practicing sexually, he's practicing with magic. How his manipulation sexual tactics keeps you going and every time he why why he's sexing you he's thinking in his mind how he's making you feel all the words that you're saying oh i love you daddy and zaddy and all of this shit and all that bullshit he's getting it all in his head he's trying to get in your head you see you that skull right there he trying to wait he trying to figure out ways to make you speak some gibberish shit okay once he gets you to speak that gibberish shit <laughs> I don't know what the fuck, but that's some gibberish shit. I don't understand this shit on here. Look at that shit at the bottom. Some gibberish shit. He wants you to speak. And you know you were sprung on this person at one time. This is why you isolating yourself. You know they had a sex demon. Okay? Give me one more for the healing. Y'all don't, if this is resonating with you, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for your girl. Please, please, please hit that thumbs up button. If you know you're dealing with the energy vampire. Hit that thumbs up button if you know you're you're um, ignoring somebody. Hit that thumbs up if you know you done blocked their magic that they throwing at you. Hit that thumbs up if you know that you're isolating yourself. Hit that thumbs up if you know that this is a devil. Hit that thumbs up if you know that this person is trying to control you. Okay? Hit that thumbs up if you know this person is spying on you because you blocked them. 
It should be a whole lot of thumbs up in this reading. Yes, it should be. And hit that thumbs up most definitely and put some hearts behind it if you're healed. Okay? If you heal from this, you put them colorful ass hearts up and you put them dance emoti emoticons down there for your girl. Okay? Put all that down. I want to know that you healed from this shit. Okay? Give me one more spirit. You're not going to give me no more? No more from this deck? The spirit don't want me to tell you. Okay? That's what I said. You floated over all of this shit and you wearing your purple. So some of you have, have gotten your um, amethyst. You either wearing that shit faithfully around your neck. You got it in your pocket. You got it in your purse. You're sleeping with it under your pillow. You know you can buy a bunch of them little mugs, right? Okay. So let's get some advice. Okay, Holy Spirit, what is the what is the advice for the collective? Fill up this energy, this devil energy. What is the advice for the collective that's dealing with this demonic energy that wants to control them and wants to use them for sex and drain their energy? What is the advice to continue to float over and heal from the situation for the collective? Ask me to give you guidance to give to my collective Holy Spirit, and I thank you in advance. Take the lead in your life. Just breathe. Throat chakra. Something, like I said, you need to speak out about. No more giving and receiving with this person. It's time for you to have joy and stability. See, this person had you feeling helpless and hopeless. They had you feeling brokenhearted with no clarity or belief. And you started going with the flow. So for you to continue with this joy and stability, which is the center of your energy. You have to take the lead in your life. No longer will you allow this person to control you. And I feel like you're doing that. This is why you're not answering the phone. This is why you're not talking to their friends. They're trying to, you guys may have a group of friends that's all together. This person had you feeling helpless and hopeless. They was trying to lead you to a stairs to somewhere that don't lead to nothing. Them stairs don't lead to nowhere. But all you got to do, baby, is walk straight forward. Follow the light. That light is going to bring you some enlightenment, happiness, joy. Once you get over all these obstacles and mountains and all these staircases this motherfucker got in front of you, you will be happy and successful, not helpless and hopeless. Okay? Speak out. But you have to believe. So I'm going to flip this over. You see, that's a manifestation right there. When you believe and you have the clarity of belief, then you can manifest what it is and what you want in your life. Now, it may not come right when you want it, but it's coming. Don't let nobody tell you that it's not when they're trying to tell you, ah, blah, 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 blah. I don't, don't want to hear that. I know what I believe. I have my faith. And the people that surround you that try to make you lose your faith, you stay away from those type of individuals. Okay? And go with the flow. Go with the flow how God is going to bless you individually, not how other people are being blessed. Don't go by what how they're being blessed. Some people is being blessed by the devil. Okay? They get all of this good shit because they're doing evil and they think that they're being that they're getting blessed. But they're actually being cursed. Okay, so you 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 go with the flow of your spiritual flow. And speak out about what it is that you need to talk to when it, when it comes to this person if you decide to talk to them. Okay, but I don't believe you're not talking to them right now. And this this person is trying to figure out how they can. Ooh, they looking at your screenshots. They watching you online or they got somebody watching you. This person that they got watching you is, is bringing your pictures back to them and letting them see you. Enjoy yourself, you know. Okay, before I end this, I'm we're going to find out what is it that this person is seeing. I like this little smart bottle, water bottle. 
I fill it up with everything. Okay, so now, okay, well, I don't, we're going to see what this person, what they seeing now. Since you ain't blocked them and they got somebody <laughs> watching you. This could be one of their family members that's still your friend. You could you could have had their family member on your social media and you block them, but you didn't block their family and their family or their friends is telling you, telling them what you're doing. Okay. They telling them how you're healing. You ain't talking to them no more. How you floating over some shit. Yep. So let's see what this person, what they see spiritually. What is it that they see spiritually about the collective? Since the collective is no longer in communication with them. What is it that these people are telling this masculine energy about the collective? You're balancing yourself out. Oh, they've been seeing you out in nature. They've been seeing you, like, probably you've been out taking walks, um, going to the park, going to the beach, getting out in nature, walking to your store. People been seeing you out looking beautiful, loving yourself. You've been wearing purple. Mm -hmm. If you've been wearing purple or if you got on purple right now, put it in the comments and give me a bunch of purple hearts. Okay, because you have a new beginnings and you look beautiful. Mm -hmm. New beginnings. Yep, new beginnings. That's the cemetery that's ended. You ended the shit with this person, and now you're having a new beginning. Okay. So this is what their people is telling them that they see. What else is what else are their friends telling them? Now you could be you could be uh a seer. They're telling these people maybe you have a social media platform. And maybe you're a reader and they're telling this person, okay, that you're having a new beginning. She a reader now. He do readings, okay? And they be, they be telling the truth. Man, I didn't even sat and listen to some of this shit they said. That was what's going on with me. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. This is what their friends telling should I listen to her? I listen to him. Whichever, whatever race you is, is not gender specific. Okay, this is dreams in reverse. This friend was telling telling this person, you helped them. You you heard them talking. They heard you talking about amethyst. That's why all this purple is out here too. Look, purple, purple. Purple. And it's like this person was saying, this person told them, see, apparently your person had them watching you and they learning from you. It was like I was having nightmares until I started watching what she was talking about. She, she started talking about them crystals and stuff. Yeah, you told me you wanted me to watch it. So I learned some shit. OK, and they watching and they learning how to use their intuition. Okay, so what else did these people tell your person? Holy Spirit, what else? Since the collective had blocked them, what else are these friends telling this person? That's my cat in the background. She just having a field day. I think she playing with my daddy. He passed away um, March, I mean, February 17th. She just been cutting up. Okay, this person is like, um, these people are telling your person that you're the opposite of whatever it was you was doing when they was, when you was with them, you're a total opposite. You're the total opposite of what you was doing when you, since you was with them and you got new beginnings. Okay. You're using your intuition. They're using their intuition. They're learning from you. And you're going to find out how this person is feeling. They're telling them you have abundance. What else are they telling them? That your cup is overflowing. 
since you became on this spiritual journey, you have new beginnings. You're letting loose. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like some of you, somebody out there, you got a channel or something. You be dancing and partying. You may even go to uh, New Orleans. Or somebody may drink bourbon. Somebody may drink Grey Goose. Mm -hmm. Somebody likes the Mardi Gras. This person is, is they, their friends is telling them how you're celebrating since you're away from them. Find out how is this person feeling? How does this person feel about you since you left them? How does this person feel about the collective? <laughs> They're not happy. They feel like God is not on their side. <laughs> Damn. They mad at their baby mama for some reason. Or they looking at you as the empress. They want you to be their baby mama. Some of them is mad because they listen to some tarot reader or something. One of their friends may be a tarot reader and gave them some wrong advice. They can't sleep. They don't want to go to work. They have no options. You're not there to take care of them no more, to be their, their nurse's aide anymore. You're not there for them. They see you strong. You have strength. Somebody could be trying to do some sort of kitchen magic. They said you're a teacher. He feels like you're a teacher. And he's 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 trying to concoct up some shit. Okay? Because you're doing so good. And you're not, you know, taking care of him being that, that empress energy towards him no more. Spiritual teacher. This is what, what he sees you as a spiritual teacher. So what what is this person over here? What are they why are they trying to make up some concoction? What are they trying to concoct? Because they broken hearted. They wanted you to be stuck. They slept with the devil. Somebody is sleeping with the devil. So they want to throw some shit at you because they friends and told them you're doing good without them, basically. And you're strong. And you're teaching people. So he want to, you know, do something to put you in the Eight of Swords energy. And this is could be how he's feeling because whoever he was dealing with and you left for, he's in the Eight of Swords. He's in, in entrapment with the devil. He's dealing with a, a Capricorn energy. He can be an air sign. I see, I see cups out here, wands, swords. A lot of swords, so most definitely somebody is dealing with the air sign. I see a little bit of um, fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Somebody's birthday could be January 9th, February 2nd, February 22nd. I see the number 222, two, two, angel number 22, 222, two, two. I mean 222. And, and this person, you're not, see, this, all they wanted you to do was to fight over them. Mm -hmm. They wanted you to be fighting over them because that made them feel like they were somebody special if you was fighting over them. That made them feel like they were shitting in tall cotton, as my mama used to say, where they ain't shit. Okay, 
this is what they wanted you to do and this is why you're not answering their call. And I don't blame you. You're using your intuition. You're having new beginnings. You let go of all of that bullshit. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stop it right here. If this reading resonated with you, then please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if it didn't resonate with you, but the story sounds good, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And please, y'all, don't forget, hit that notification bell for Auntie now. You got to hit the notification bell because I'm giving you all this little juicy gossip. I read different from everybody else, so I, I, I'm not a tarot reader. So I give you like straight facts. I can't tell you all six of swords. I may speak it in my cards, but I really don't know what all of those I'm learning. I don't know what all of that means. I'm just telling you with my intuition and what I'm seeing, it's like a cartoon to me when I'm telling somebody. Somebody need to use their intuition. Somebody sent some of their friends to spy on you because you blocked them. And now their friends are, are learning from you. Let's see how this person feels since they learning from, since they're friends. <laughs> Let's be nosy. Mm -hmm. Okay, spirit. How is this person feeling since they friends that they have spying on me, on the collective is learning from the collective? How is this person feeling since the since their friends is learning from the collective? They're they're they told the, this they this person told all of their friends bad shit about you. But since they've been watching you, they know it's all a lie. So let's see how this person is feeling. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Feels like you cut them off. Okay. You did. <laughs> Why the collective? How does this person feel since the person, since the collective cut them off? Like they feel like it was a court case that they lost with you. <laughs> they they lost because that ten means ended. So you did end it with them. They feel like the ten ten. Goddamn, yeah, you ended it. They know it's over. They know it's over. In some some in some numerology two two two. It means a relationship coming to an end. Mm hmm. But see, they ain't told their friends. They ain't told nobody in the community that it's over between y'all. Now, for some of you, this is a court situation. And it may not didn't go in your favor and your community don't know it. This person is getting karma. Okay? Somebody is getting karma. Somebody in your family. You're about to receive some sort of paperwork about someone getting karma. Some sort of judgment didn't go in somebody's favor. Someone is getting cut off. Chaos and conflict in reverse. Sudden wealth. Here's a real estate man. Here's a courthouse. A community in reverse. Some sort of papers from a real estate man. He's not saying nothing. He may send you some sort of paperwork. Um, this envelope could have some money in it. It could have a check. It could be some sort of birth certificate. It could be a death certificate. It could be some sort of documents from the court. And it has something to do with some family. Here it says it has something to do with some sudden wealth. And this is a different energy from the person you're talking who you're ignoring. This is a different story, okay? Somebody is is somebody in your family you're taking to court or they're taking you to court. Um, your family, the court is in reverse. Somebody in your family just got out of some sort of chaos and conflict with the community. They may not be talking to the community. They, not be, they may not be telling their community. This could be a gang community, a gay community, a motorcycle community. This could be a law community. This could be a real estate community. This could be your family. 
This could be a third party situation. Some of you have floated over all of this shit. And you're not letting it, you know, bother you no more. I don't accept defeat. But I accept that if God got something better, way better for me than this. And that's what you have to accept. If it don't go the way you think it's going to go. If a court and you're in court and the court don't go in your favor, that means God got something higher than the court and that's better than the court. Secret treasures out of darkness. Okay. You ain't going to know about it. All right. So just claim that blessing. Even though you don't see it. You don't see God, but you praise him, right? So you don't see that blessing. You imagine it coming and manifest it into your life. And I'm going to stop right here. Don't be like SpongeBob. Get that driver's license. Get that license. Get that paperwork. All right? Peace out, y'all.